So continuing with our next topic on mobile automation with APM, uh, we are going to talk about the Android debug bridge. Now, this is also known as ADB, and it's a command line tool, uh, which is part of uh, the Android SDK platform tools. Okay, so it comes to you by default whenever uh, you are setting up your Android uh, SDK platform. So let's uh, try to uh, understand a little bit about what it is and uh, how it is useful for us, right? So as I said, it is a command line tool, uh, which basically allows us to communicate and perform different actions uh, on different Android devices, which are uh, connected to your APM server, okay? So here, um, as you can see, it has got three different components. The first is a client. Now this client is used uh, to send commands um, and also to uh, invoke a particular client from the command line terminal. Now this can be done using uh, ADB command. Uh, and this client runs on your development machine, okay? Then there is the daemon. Now this daemon uh, is also known as ADBD. And uh, this is used basically to run commands uh, on a particular device. Now this uh, particular daemon uh, runs as a background process on each device. Then there is the server. Uh, this server manages the communication between the client and your daemon. So it sits between them and it runs again as a background process on your development machine, okay? So as you can see, there are two background processes. Uh, one is running on the device, which is the daemon, and then the server, which is running on your development machine. So using these three components, uh, the ADB or the Android debug bridge is able to communicate between uh, the server and the client, which is nothing but your Android devices. Now, as I said, uh, this is part of uh, the Android platform tools. Um, so whenever you are setting up your Android environment, you will have access to this, okay? Or it may be running in the background uh, without you knowing that uh, it's actually running. But there is a lot more usage uh, for this EDB, uh, especially the commands. So let's have a look at some of the commands and uh, how you can use them in your APM automation. So as you can see, um, currently I have two devices connected to my uh, development environment. And one is a uh, emulator, uh, which is on the left-hand side, and one is a real device, okay? Both are running on the same um, Android platform, uh, but they are two different devices, right? Now I have opened uh, my command line here, and from here, I can uh, look at how I can use the ADB commands to communicate to these devices. First, let's go ahead and look uh, what are the different commands which are available with this ADB. So here you can see these are all the ADB commands, right? And uh, here, if you see, uh, these are the global options. So you can use these different options whenever you are starting this particular um, ADB client. And then uh, these are the general commands, uh, like the devices. Uh, this particular command, devices, and then dash L will give you the list of devices which are currently connected, okay? And then uh, we have got some networking commands. So you can connect to a particular device via TCP IP. You can disconnect. You can also forward uh, reverse um, different socket connections. Then we have also got some file transfer commands. So here you can see you can uh, uh, basically copy different files or directories directly to your device from your um, development machine. You can um, also uh, do the same uh, from the device, okay? So both ways are possible. You can also sync your files between your uh, device and your development machine. Then it also gives you uh, the ability to run shell commands, okay? So you can run remote shell commands on your device. You can choose these different parameters and then you can uh, run some commands. You can also install um, your applications on your devices using this ADB, you can also uninstall them. And then uh, we can also do some debugging. Uh, we can also run some security, some scripting. Um, 
and also there is internal debugging usb we can attach and detach right so there are lots of commands uh, basically you can do uh, almost everything from the back end using this adb client on your devices now as i said uh, we are going to look at some of the commands which could be useful uh, during the apm automation right so one of the most useful commands uh, is the adb um, devices okay so if you want to know what devices are currently connected uh, to your development machine or where you want to run your automation you can use this particular command so now one of the useful commands uh, which we can use uh, is the adb devices uh, or the adb devices uh, and we can see the list as well so if I type here ADB devices, so it will show me the list of devices attached, right? So you can see here, uh, this is the emulator, uh, which is connected and this is the real device, okay? So two devices are connected and it is showing me right here. Now, some of the other things which we can do is uh, we can also reboot the devices right from here, right? So if you are facing some issue during automation, you can reboot your device using this particular command. Okay, so before that, uh, I need to uh, disconnect one of the devices and so that just one device is currently connected. Okay, so if I run this now, you will see my emulator is uh, connected now. The other device, I have disconnected it. And now I can go ahead and run this uh, reboot command here. So I can say adb reboot. And as you can see, uh, it is rebooting this particular emulator device. So it basically rebooted the device. So there are uh, lots of other commands uh, which you can use uh, with ADB and you can basically uh, control your device right from the command line interface, which is uh, ADB, okay? So this is all about uh, the Android debug bridge and uh, how you can use it uh, in your automation. Um, there would be a lot of different examples on this um, and it would be very useful, uh, especially when you are building a, a framework where you can control everything right from the command line. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.